The president of Venezuela's National Electoral Council announced the date of the presidential elections after government and opposition parties failed to come to an agreement on how to conduct the election fairly. From the electoral board, we're compromising as usual and following our constitutional role to guarantee the necessary conditions so that political differences can be solved through transparent and balanced elections. Opposition leaders say the early date will benefit incumbent President Nicolás Maduro, who is the only candidate so far. Maduro is running under a new political party known as Somos Venezuela or We Are Venezuela. He's distancing himself from former President Hugo Chávez, who died in 2013. We won't let our homeland be stolen by the opposition. This country belongs to young people. Our former president, Hugo Chávez, gave his heart to this country, and we need to respect that. In the face of daily protests last year, the opposition demanded elections, but now its most popular leaders, including Leopoldo López, Enrique Capriles and Antonio Ledesma, have been imprisoned, forced into exile and banned from running for office, and the Venezuelan opposition is divided into several different factions. During meetings with government delegates in the Dominican Republic, opposition leaders had been pushing for the election to be held in June and for the Electoral Council to be staffed with neutral officials. But those meetings broke up with no agreement. Opposition supporters say an April election does not give them time to rally around a unifying candidate. And they say the election will be neither free nor fair. I can go and vote democratically, but we all know conditions are set to help the government. Our constitutional rights have been stolen from us. The government just wants to remain in power, power they've had for 20 years. Meanwhile, Venezuelans will continue to slowly die due to the lack of medicine, high crime levels, unemployment and hunger. The opposition is considering running a unifying candidate or simply boycotting the elections. Meanwhile, inflation in Venezuela has gone from triple digits to quadruple digits, and most Venezuelans are spending their energy trying to find the means to live from one day to the next. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.